everyone, Destron Decepticon23 here with uh, my next uh, in line for an animated review, uh, my review of Animated Lockdown. Uh, Lockdown, as you can see, is um, is a muscle car. His um, alt mode is very reminiscent to uh, the Batmobile, which is kind of cool. Very, uh, very, very nice alt mode. Um, it's one of my favorite alt modes in the line. Well, so far, I guess. I, I really like uh, how the headlights look like some kind of expression. Like it looks like it's it looks ferocious. Like one thing I didn't mention in my Bumblebee review is that um, the new animated figures have more of a matte finish to them, wh whereas uh, all. The lines uh, predecessing animated uh, pretty much had like a glossy type finish, so that's one of the n newer things I've animated. Like you can feel the difference too. Like the mat feels very slick, and it's quite different from uh, any of the other lines that we've seen in Transformers. Some of the details I like on this figure is like the little exhaust pipes on this uh, on the end. Uh, the spikes protruding out of the hubcaps, uh, the spikes on the top of the roof. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I like how the windows and windshield are designed kind of like a microchip. One of the problems uh, um, of the animated line being a matte finish is that they scratch pretty easily. I don't know if you can see that scratch there. Assuming that his car mode is a vehicle on Earth, there's one thing I don't understand about the figure is that... Alright, his motor on here is his EMP generator, which is a really cool accessory, but, like... If we were to assume that this is a real Earth car, it's kind of hard to believe because if you're to drive in the car right here, and you had this huge motor in front of you, you wouldn't be able to see where you're going. The EMP generator is bigger than the view of the window, so if this was a real Earth car designed on futuristic Earth, which takes place in animated, I have a hard... I think uh, these cars would get into a lot of crashes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give this mode... I'm going to give his car mode a 10 because it's perfect. I, I, I love everything about it. The figure is one of the best in the animated line. Um, I really like the front part of it. It's the best part. But uh, enough about that and on to the transformation. Uh, first thing you're going to do is take his EMP generator off. And to transform it to what will be his little EMP generator hand blaster later. Flip this 180 degrees. And there's a tiny little button right here you have to you have to pinch with your fingernails and that pops out the other parts of the EMP generator. Um, one thing I'll say is that uh, um, Quoting Optobotamus, this figure is like a reverse barricade um, from the movie line. Um, barricade had these huge arms that came right out of like, the sides of the car. But this guy has huge legs that come out of the side, and that's what makes him pretty much a Voyager class, even though he's a deluxe in uh, robot mode. So, And they extend even more than this, than what it is on the car right now, so... To get the legs going, you uh, pull them out from here, each side. Ooh. Try not to pull them off the ball joint. Then you lift this section up. Actually, pull it off right now. Um, 
Um, next of his legs, you pull them out, put them on an angle, and then push the front of the car in on this side. Then you put that back up. Then you pull out his feet, which are a lot like toes. <laughs> can see right here. Do the same with the other leg. And if this doesn't get on camera, I'm really sorry it's quite a tall figure and it's kind of difficult to get it on camera, so I'll try to get it on as much as I can. Push his feet up. Then what you do is you rotate his torso. Then you pull out his arms. Pull his shoulder blades up. Turn that around. Pull out his hands. Oh, one note, I really hate his hands. Uh, they aren't colored like they are on the show, but the worst part about it is that you can only go this far with the hand. Though I know when they redo uh, the lockdown toy, if they do what they said at BotCon, uh, they're going to try to fix that problem. Then you pull out his chest, flip his head out, and there you have animated lockdown. Let's see if I can get him into the full view of the camera. Um, if you've seen the show, um, you know that lockdown is the Decepticon bounty hunter. He doesn't label himself as a Decepticon, but... He is pretty much a Decepticon. He works for them. He uh, works for upgrades, and whoever he uh, he takes in, he'll take parts off them, such as the EMP generator that came off of Ratchet, which will fit on uh, the Ratchet toy as well. I'll get one of his. I'll get his accessory to go on. So what you do is you pull out the hook from the bottom of the, this piece that you pulled off earlier. Then uh, hook the EMP generator on into the slots. And then, well, you had to push out, uh, push his hand back in. Then on the little tab right here, you push this whole hook thing. And there you have Lockdown fully equipped. Um, very nice. Uh, arm uh, weapon. Uh, in the new lockdown, they're going to give him the chainsaw he had in the show, which will be really uh, pretty cool. This guy is huge um, because of his legs. He He's pretty much the tallest in the animated line except for uh, the leaders. I really like that when they can engineer a figure so well that they can take it from a tiny alt mode and make it into a huge robot, which I think that was Excellent thinking on the engineer's uh, part. I read on some of the forums because of his um, little hook here. He contrasts, uh, they, he's like a contrast to Prowl. He is the Decepticon's pirate to the Autobot's ninja. Oh, and might as well get a size comparison while I have Prowl here. And as you can see, Prowl is dwarfed by uh, the mighty lockdown. I really find this annoying, but on it, one of his side spikes here, it's missing the paint right here, as you can see, which that really aggravates me. I really hate it when they mess up. Yeah, so um, I'm going to give this robot mode a... I guess I'll give it a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, very nice. Uh, very show accurate, um, very tall, and, and I'm 
Very impressed with it. It is complete as a figure. Once it hits markets for wherever you live, um, definitely get them.